Well, good morning, everybody. We are picking up right where we left off, Cleburne, Texas. We are on our way. We're going to go up to Oklahoma, pick the load up, and we are taking it all the way to Centerville, Iowa. It's going to be a load of uh, wire. So I'm going to hit some traffic up around, around Fort Worth area this morning, but yeah. Let's go get another one. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go to Oklahoma, buddy. Let's go to freaking Oklahoma. Thank you, Texas. Thank you, partner. So I'm looking at uh, at the GPS over here and I see that on this road there is not many traffic jams like there is on every other road around around Dallas and Fort Worth and I'm like why is that well guess why because this right here is a toll road buddy <laughs> but it's okay you gotta spend money to make money and time is money and we're gonna save time by going this way so yes sir Alrighty, we are on Interstate 30 East. Right lane closed. Go on, buddy, you can come on over. So the guy is calling me about some reefer trailers because I'm still trying to find one. And uh, it's a Jim Hawk trailer sales, the guy from Kansas City. And <laughs> they're trying to sell me like a 2017 uh, reefer trailer with like 
I don't know, 15,000 hour, he's like, he's like 47,000. I'm like, buddy, you're out of your fucking mind, bro. 47,000, fuck that, man. That is ridiculous. And I, I, I told him, you got, I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. You guys are priced the highest in the area that I'm looking uh, trailer in. I'm looking in Iowa, Nebraska, and Missouri, and you guys are really out there. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy, man. Doesn't seem like they want to sell them. It's not 22 or 2021 anymore. It's 2024, buddy. You gotta come down on those prices. So. Well, I was just about to say, it looks like we are done with traffic jams, but it looks like we are not, buddy. There's a seven minute slowdown, just like 15 miles ahead of me. Looks like one of these idiots crashed in the rain. People don't know how to act whenever it's raining out here. Slow down, reduce your speed, increase your following distance. Simple as that. And be safe. Uh, like, you get in there like four minutes early, it's not worth you crashing, killing somebody, killing yourself, damaging your car, damaging somebody else's car. It is not worth it, man. Slow down. Well, maybe I should slow down too. <laughs> no, I will not. I actually am driving slower. I'm driving 10, 10 miles below speed limit. I'm doing 55 right now and it's 65 through here. So that is a lot better than crashing into somebody. Better late than ever, buddy. Better late than ever. Looks like it's right over here to the left. Welcome to America, steel and wire. So we're gonna have to scale in. Alrighty. Well, we're checked in. Very nice young lady there at the window. Smile on her face. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, she said, come over here. Do basically like a U-turn. Stop at the stop, stop sign, open up the door and wait for somebody to come and get me. And looks like I'm getting this shit. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need a block and brace. Alrighty, let's get the doors open. Slide our tendons to the rear. 
while we wait on whoever to come and get us to load this stuff. My brand new steel toe boots from Walmart, buddy. $13.99. Don't mind if I do. Not at all. They're usually $69.99. I think somebody bought these, returned them without the box. And they put them on a sale because they didn't come with the box. But they do have a tag on it. I like it. Go around it back up around this side sorry I can't hear you from what you say okay do I go under the canopy or, or around the canopy around it okay okay I appreciate it buddy thank you wait for me to get down first <laughs> That's a big boy. Let's go. That one? Okay. All right. All righty. Let's get her back down in, bird. Getting my brand new boots dirty. How's it going? My bad, how are you, bud? Not bad, brother. We gonna I'm not running across any snake ho snake houses. Well, Car if you did, you're still underway. So I'm getting ten of these. Alrighty, we are loaded. Let's go scale in and get out of here. This guy is also going to the same place, but I'm gonna make it up there way before him. And I really got lucky with this load because this guy, he got $300 less than what I did for the same load. There's another load posted on the load board right now, same load that is $400 less than what I'm paying. So I got really freaking lucky yesterday. <laughs> really lucky all right let's go so the, that's the reason the reason you slide these backwards whenever you're picking up a load is that you so that your trailer doesn't bounce up and down as much and by the way that, that's why we got 10 of these he put four of them all the way up in front then there's a big gap between them and put six over over here in the back so he knows what he's doing Seems like a pretty cool guy that loaded me. Thank you, buddy. In and out, 30 minutes. This is what every place should be like, in my opinion. No wasting time, no nothing. Trucks coming in and out. I just left. The other guy is getting loaded, and another guy is pulling up right now. So, Looks like they have a bunch of these loads going out today up to Centerville, Iowa. So we better step on it, buddy, and be there first, which I am gonna be there first. That's for damn sure. You can count on it, buddy. All right, this is a very good opportunity for me to show you guys, to show new guys how to get your axle weights even 
when it's just a single scale and it doesn't have a separate axle for the weight. So just watch. I'll be writing down some numbers and then I'll explain it to you guys after I get done. All right, so first we're gonna pull up with our steer axle on a scale. Okay, let's pull up with our steel ac steer axle and stop. So the weight on a steer axle is 11,640 pounds. So now let's pull up, pull up and get steer and drive axles at the same time. Okay, let's see what it is. It says 43,000, what is it? 43,600. And now for the whole truck, the whole truck is going to be, let's see what it, what it says. All right, the whole truck is 77,540 pounds. Okay, and now let me go check in, get my paperwork and I'll explain to you. Well, the lady at the checkout window was a fucking bitch. <laughs> so fuck you lady, you are not gonna ruin my day. My day is still gonna be great because I'm getting paid very good. I'm going in a very good area to pick up a load tomorrow. They'll deliver this one, then pick up another one. And uh, yeah, the check-in lady was super nice. The checkout, uh, the uh, loader was extremely and super nice, very professional. The lady at the checkout window was a fucking bitch. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys how I well, this, uh, this scale did have uh, axle weights, but I'm gonna show you anyway, because I've been, I've been wanting to show everybody this for a, for a minute now. So, okay, let's do this. All right, so this is how you do it for all you new guys out there. I'm sure all the veterans know. Trash, no, no. There's a trash can right down there. Come on, guys, what the fuck? Anyway, this is how you do it. These are the numbers right here that I wrote as I was pulling up on a scale. We already know our uh, steer axle is 11,640 pounds. Truck uh, drive axles and steer axles all together are 43,600 pounds. And then the entire truck's weight with the load is 77,540 pounds. So what you do is you take 77,540 pounds and take away 43,600 pounds and you're gonna get 33,940 pounds on a, on a trailer axle. Then what you do is you take this number, 43,600, which is drive axle and steer axle combined. Uh, so you take 43,600 and you deduct 11,640 and you're gonna get 31,960 on the drives and we already know our steer axles so hopefully this helps out some of the new drivers out there but uh yeah that's how i do it if there's any other way that you can that you do it please let me know in the comments thank you guys all right let's get out of here all righty time to get out of here sherry williams the lady at the checkout window, you're a fucking bitch lady and you know it. <laughs> All right, get her done, buddy, get her done. This is a huge roundabout, buddy. I've seen a couple of roundabouts like this in Illinois somewhere. I can't remember where, but, and one of them in Illinois has like a hotel right in center of it, center of it. This place right here, this looks like a, what do you call it, like a town hall or a courthouse right here in the middle. Pretty cool place.
I am not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of this little town. <laughs> no, sir. Because I am sure it would be wrong. Tishamingo, Tishamingo, something like that. <laughs> I have no idea. I will put it up on the screen. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys will know, but I do not. So this road right here is uh, U.S. State Route 377. We are going north on this thing. Uh, the other guy in purple, Volvo, he's hoping he's going to get there before me to Iowa. He took off the other way. He cut across a little bit west and he's going to get on U.S. 69 North. But this road is like 100 times better than U.S. 69 North. I know it's only one lane right now, but it's 65 miles an hour. There's no huge potholes that you can see all the way to China. Uh, so yeah, good luck, buddy. I don't think it's gonna happen, but hey, you never know. This little town right here is Seminole, Oklahoma. I think I'm pronouncing it right, I don't know. Let's go to a red light, why not? Well, it's yellow, but my trail is gonna be red. Oh well. <laughs> Sometimes it's gotta be done, buddy. You know how it is. I'm 43,000 pounds, and I don't feel like starting off the stoplight again because that one was a little bit uphill. This one is downhill, so I don't really mind this one. The break around the keys is insane. Some people have called me Samuel L. Jackson of Trucking, which I like a lot. Thank you to my buddy, uh, The Hassle Continues on YouTube for for the new nickname. I, I really like it. Thank you, buddy. Samuel L. Jackson of Trucking. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Continue on US 169 North for 93 miles. And it looks like we got a revenue collector here for the state of Kansas extorting money from a poor truck driver. Hmm. Freaking asshole. We are two and a half miles away from Interstate 35. Very nice.
was that cop gonna pull somebody over? He was flashing his light at me for some fucking reason. And then he flashed the light at that car right there. I think he's gonna pull him over. Yep. He gonna pull his ass over. No. He's just telling him to slow down. That's what he was telling me as well. Buddy, I'm only doing 15 over. What's the big fucking deal? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are in Iowa. This is Iowa State Route 2. We are about 10 miles away from our delivery. Shut it down about 30 minutes before my delivery place. It didn't look like a very safe spot to sleep, and I like to sleep at safe places. There's absolutely no service here in Iowa for the phone. Zero. Well, I've checked in. I'm gonna go down that way around the building to Dock B. Alrighty, it is down here. Dock B. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna need a truck wash after this one. Hey bud, I have service if you need to use the phone. Oh, I got service. You, you got it? Yeah. Okay, all right. It's just spotty. Do you need to get by? <laughs> all right, and none of them have moved. <laughs> Very nice. I was taking it real easy. I was taking it real easy coming up here. Didn't want to slam on the brakes. Didn't want to put myself in position where I would have to slam on the brakes. And if you slam on the brakes real hard, that one strap is not holding these fuckers. It is not. They are coming forward, buddy. Well, here we are. Another delivery about to be completed and in the books, buddy. This load was freaking excellent coming out of Oklahoma. I would do these loads every day, all day long, buddy. I just feel bad for the other guys because one guy that was there picking up at the same time, he, go, he was getting paid $300 less than, than what I was. And then there was another load, same load, coming here to the same place that was posted that was $400 less than what I picked up. Uh, so just imagine how much these brokers are stealing from us. These motherfuckers stole $300 from that one guy. They're going to steal $400 from another guy, whoever booked that other load, that's $400 less. So on top of whatever they are making on me, which they paid me excellent, they are still gonna make that extra money for paying those guys a lot less than they paid me. Which it is, I don't know man, that is just, in my eyes it is not right, but it is capitalism, so that's how, that's how it goes buddy. That's how it goes. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for commenting, subscribing. Uh, please stay safe out there. Look out for each other. Be courteous on the road. Don't be one of these jackasses that pulls out in front of a semi truck going 65, 70 miles an hour just because you wanna get somewhere 30 seconds earlier than you would. But anyway, I hope you all guys have a great weekend. Don't drink too much, don't eat too much. Stay safe out there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. That guy right there in that truck is real professional. That's what all of us should look out to be. Uh, he stopped, he came over here, he asked me 
if I'm waiting to get unloaded because he didn't want to cut in front of me. First, I told he was going to ask for uh, instructions, you know, where to get checked in or what not. But looks like he's been here before. He knows what he's doing. He just didn't want to cut in, which you are very nice gentlemen, buddy. Transportation Distribution Company of Job in Missouri. You guys should be proud to have a driver like that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. We should all be looking out to be like this guy. And that's the guy that picked up the same time like I did. And he's just now getting here. Not bad, buddy. Not bad. Seems like a very nice young feller.